Today I am going to show you how to crochet this super simple dog sweater. This sweater includes a detail around all of the edges that we stitch on at the end, as well as straps to tie on the sweater. It includes a ribbed neck, it's a turtleneck sweater, and a detail for the hole to connect your leash to the collar or to the harness. But first, Let's talk about what you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a yarn needle. You'll also need a pair of scissors. And of course, you're going to need some yarn for this project. The amount you need will depend on the size of the dog you have. If you're doing a chihuahua size like me, you'll need about 100 grams of worsted weight yarn. I'm using this Briggs and Little Regal wool in the color Cranberry Delight. So gather your supplies and let's get into it. We're gonna start with a slip knot. Then chain 20. One, two, three, and 20. And then I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one and two. And I'm going to single crochet down the rest of the chain. At the end of this row, chain one and turn. For row number two, I'm going to begin with a single crochet into the first stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet across the row, but back loops only. I'm going to single crochet all the way through both loops though on the last stitch. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Here I am at the end of the row, so I'm going to do a regular single crochet in that last stitch. I'm gonna chain one and turn. And there we go. For row number three, I'm going to start with a regular single crochet in the first stitch, and then I'm going to single crochet back loops only across the row. But in the last stitch, I'm going to single crochet through both loops. By keeping that single crochet not through the back loops only for the first and last stitch of the row, we're keeping the work really nice and straight and tight and sturdy, which is going to be useful when we're anchoring this to the rest of the doggy sweater. We're gonna wanna keep single crocheting back and forth on this rectangle until it reaches the length to fit all the way around your dog's neck. If you've got a big dog, that might take you 100 rows. For me, it's going to take 46 rows. So I'm just going to repeat row number two, which is single crochet normally in the first and last stitch of the row. Otherwise, single crochet back loops only across. Just keep going until this measures around your doggy's neck with a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so at this point, it's about 10.5 inches by about four inches long. That's gonna make it around Thunder's neck with a good amount of wiggle room. I'm gonna fold it over and we're gonna put the seam there. So I'm gonna flip the work and then I'm gonna mark six rows from either side and those are gonna be the areas that we're not working. That's gonna be the area where his legs go. So we're gonna fold it over and then I'm going to take my hook and I'm gonna put it in the first stitch, but on the side without working yarn on it. And then I'm going to put my hook through the loop of working yarn and then pull that loop through the first stitch on the other side. From here, I am going to single crochet this seam together. So I'm gonna go through the second stitch on both pieces of fabric and line it up as best as I can and just single crochet across. I like the single crochet because it covers the seam and I just, I think that makes it look a little bit more finished. So here I am at the end of that uh, seam and now we're gonna turn the work and we're gonna have to get over to the first stitch marker. We don't wanna do any stitches here though, so I'm gonna slip stitch over to the marker. If you're doing a bigger dog, you might need to do more rows. Um, I did six rows from either end. You might have to do 10 rows or 15 rows if you've got a wider chested dog. Okay, so I made it to the first stitch marker and I'm gonna start this first row with a chain one and then I'm going to put a single crochet in each row all the way across to the other stitch marker. So one single crochet in each row all the way around to the second stitch marker. And here I am at that second stitch marker. I'm gonna put one single crochet into that stitch 
where my stitch marker is, and then I'm gonna chain one and turn the work around. So this area is where the legs are going to be, basically. It's gonna have an open area for your doggy's legs. You can see on my diagram here, it kind of comes out, and then we work straight across, we add the strap, and then eventually we taper off. And right now we're just starting at that collar end. So in the second row, I'm going to do a single crochet. I'm gonna do two single crochets in the first stitch and in the last stitch of the row. Otherwise, I'm just gonna single crochet across. At the end of this row, I'll chain one and turn. Here I am at the last stitch of the row. It's a little bit tight because it was a chain one, so just finicky, figure it out, it's gonna be fine. But I'm still putting two single crochets in that last stitch, and then I'm gonna chain one and turn. And now for row number three of the body, before I get into that, I'm just gonna remove the stitch markers because they are not needed anymore. Um, and I'm going to do for row number three, just a straight single crochet across, one single crochet stitch in each stitch across. At the end of this row, chain one and turn. Okay, here I am at the end of row number three, and you can see now we've got a little collar, and this is a good spot to add a hole if you want to have a hole for your dog's leash. We can do it by putting a mark right at the top stitch of the work. I'm just gonna put a stitch marker there to mark the midpoint. And then I'm gonna single crochet almost up to the midpoint. I'm just gonna, for this row, do my regular single crochet um, across. And when I make it closer to the midpoint, I'm gonna count out five stitches from that point on either side. So I'll count out from the midpoint, five stitches, and I'm gonna put a stitch marker there. And then I'll put a stitch marker, five stitches from the middle the other way. And that's gonna be the area that we want to have opened up. So in that space, there's 10 spaces there, 10 stitches that we're skipping. So I'm gonna chain 10 and then attach it at the other end to make an opening, kind of like a buttonhole. So I'm gonna do a chain of 10 and then I'm going to reattach this chain to the other side of the work at the other stitch marker. And I'm gonna just reattach it with a single crochet. After that, I'm just going to single crochet across to the end of the row, and then I'm gonna continue with rows two and three all the way up to row number 10. I'm gonna do a repeat of rows two and three. So two single crochets in the first and last rows, and then the next row, it's just single crochet across. For rows 11 to 20, I'm just gonna single crochet across. So I'm gonna zoom through that and then we'll come back here. And if you're looking for more detailed instructions, maybe a written pattern, I do have one available on Etsy for this project. It includes some tips for if you're upsizing the sweater, as well as a little bit of more information. So check the links in the description for that information. So here I am at the end of row number 20. It's just been 11 to 20 with single crochets across. And now I'm doing a chain of 50. At the end of the chain, I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook right there. And then I'm gonna single crochet down the chain. This is gonna make up one of the straps for the sweater. So this is row number 22. I'm gonna single crochet across and at the end of this row, I'm gonna chain 50 again. Then I'm gonna single crochet down that chain for row number 23. And for row number 24, I'm gonna single crochet down the entire work. So you'll see at the end of row number 24, you'll have these two long ties and they'll be about the same size. Now I've got to separate the straps from the main work again. So I'm gonna take some stitch markers and I'm going to just mark the stitch that lines up the strap with the body so I know where to stop single crocheting. I'm gonna single crochet down that last strap and then all the way to that stitch marker. I'm not going to go anywhere beyond that marker though. And that's going to finish our strap. If you're working with a bigger dog, you might have to do more straps, um, but I would say this is probably the thinnest you'd wanna go for a strap. But anyway, at this point, I'm gonna chain one and turn the work around. I'm gonna move the stitch marker to the other side so I know where to stop. 
and then I'm going to single crochet across to the second stitch marker. So that was row number 26. For row number 27 all the way to row number 44, we're just gonna single crochet across. Nothing special or fancy here, just single crochet across for a whole bunch of rows. If you're working with a bigger dog, you wanna go until the fabric basically hits their back leg, the front of their back leg. So that's where I'm at now. And what I'm gonna do for row number 45 is I'm gonna single crochet two together for the next stitch. So you can see at this point, it's starting to have that dog sweater shape. We're gonna taper up now. So we're gonna start decreasing rows to have it taper up. Look at the little hole for the leash. Cute, baby cute. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna single crochet two together for that first stitch. And then for the rest of the stitches of the row, I'll single crochet across normally. But in the last stitches, the last two stitches, I'm gonna single crochet two together. Here I am at the end of the row. I'm just gonna single crochet those last two stitches together. And that is gonna start our decrease. So I'm gonna chain one and turn. For the next row, I'm gonna single crochet across. For row number 46, I'm just gonna single crochet across. And then for rows number 47 all the way to 68, I'm just gonna keep doing these decreases. If you've got a bigger dog, you might need to keep going farther on these decreases. You're basically just wanting this to hit the base of the tail. All right, I just finished row number 68 and the general shape of this dog sweater is now finished. If you want, you can leave it here, but I'm not done yet. So here at the end of the row, I am going to begin working down the rows. I'm gonna put one single crochet in each row down all the way until we reach the strap. Now that I've reached the strap, I'm going to do a single crochet in that first stitch of the strap. And then otherwise, I am going to slip stitch all the way down the strap and then I will slip stitch across the rows and then all the way back down to the work. This is gonna add a nice little detail around the strap without adding too much width to the strap itself. Isn't that a nice little detail? Adds a little something extra to the strap, I think. All right, now that I made it there, I am going to single crochet again all along the open area of this edge here. I'm gonna go all the way down to the collar. Then I'm gonna single crochet along the open side of the collar and then down the front along the other side again. I'm gonna slip stitch around the other strap and then I'll single crochet all the way back down to where we started the round. I'm gonna zoom through this part because I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the rest of this portion, just single crocheting around and slip stitching around the edge of the strap. So I'll meet you back at the beginning where I will show you how we're gonna wrap this baby up. Okay, so it's the next day now. I finished the round with my single crochets all the way around and I've got my end right here. I haven't woven in my end yet just cause I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but it's been a little while and I think I am going to just weave my end in at this point. But I want to add a little something extra to this design to make it a little bit more special. I thought we could add some trim around the outside to make it just a little bit more jazzy. And also we can add some trim around this hole so that it highlights it a little bit more, makes it a little bit more obvious and visible. So I've got my thread and I've got my needle. I'm gonna just line up the trim along the edge first and then I'll just whip stitch it down all across around the outside. And here it is. This is the finished dog sweater. The trim that I stitched down, I think added such a cute detail. Is that not so sweet? It'll be so easy to see where the collar is when I want to connect my leash to Thunder's collar. Well, Thunder wears a harness, but anyway, the trim I think adds a fun little detail. You can see I did it all around the outside. I ironed everything so it's nice and flat now, including the straps. And you can see that slip stitch that we did around the straps thickened them up and gave a cute little detail without making them wider. 
so they're perfect. And I think that ribbed collar, I just folded it down, but that ribbed collar looks so cute and it looks like a little turtleneck when Thunder wears it. So that is the finished sweater. Remember though, you can also do a simpler version. This is the simpler version. So with this one, I did not add any trim and I did not do a hole for the leash but it's still an awesome dog sweater. Thunder wears this one already uh, and he loves it because it's nice and snug on him, but also it's not too, too heavy. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So that is what I've got for you for today. Thank you so much to my patrons who are supporting me this month on Patreon. If you would like to support the channel, check out the links in the description down below to become a patron and Stay tuned for some footage of Thunder and Peekaboo running around in these sweaters. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. There you go. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? It's so cute. He's so smart. What do you think? Can I have a high five? Thunder. Can I have a high five? Thank you. Come over here. Come here, Thunder. Come, you want a treat? Good boy. Well, pick a boy, you didn't do anything to deserve a treat. Okay, come here. Ready? Okay, turn around. Good job. No, you gotta stay here. There you go. Good job, buddy. You are overexcited, my dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. There you go. There you go. Holy moly. It's okay. There you go, boy. So exciting. Bye. Let's see how this sweater fits on a cat, shall we? Here, you sit here. Not that you'll need it. Oh, hold on. Oh, look at how handsome you are. Look at how fancy you look, Pico. Look how beautiful she looks. Oh, she's such a beautiful kitty in her kitty cat sweater. How about that, huh? Like a regal princess. Do you look like a regal princess? Oh, you're such a fancy lady. Oh, you're so fancy. Bye.